The first quarter of 2018 has seen a considerable regulatory activity by financial regulators and supervisors. At a global level, it should be noted that the BCBS published a consultative document on revisions to the minimum capital requirements for market risk, which introduces amendments on, among others, the standardized approach, the internal models approach, or the scope of market risk capital requirements. The BCBS also published a consultative document on Pillar 3 disclosure requirements arising from the Basel III reform. At the European level, the European Commission published a comprehensive package of measures to tackle the NPLs in Europe, including, among others, a proposal for the regulation on amending the CRR. Further, the EBA published a consultation paper on the guidelines on management of non-performing and forebone exposures, and the ECB published an amendum to the ECB guidance to banks on NPLs. Moreover, the EBA published the macroeconomic scenarios for the 2018 EU-wide stress test that banks are required to consider in order to estimate what the potential impact may be on profits and capital. The EBA also published a roadmap on fintech, setting out its priorities for 2018 and 2019, and an indicative timeline for the completion of these tasks. Finally, at a domestic level, it should be highlighted that the Spanish government published the Anteproyecto de Ley de Prevención del Blanqueo de Capitales y de la Financiación del Terrorismo, with the aim at adapting the Spanish legal system to the fourth anti-money laundering directive. In the U.S., the Fed published the instructions and the scenarios to participating firms and supervisors for the 2018 CCAR and DFAST exercises. In the UK, the Prudential Regulation Authority published a consultation paper on credit risk mitigation and the eligibility of guarantees as unfunded credit protection. As regards to the next steps, it should be highlighted that at a European level, the General Data Protection Regulation and the guidelines on the assessment of the suitability of members of the management, body, and key function holders of the EBA and the ESMA will be applicable. At a domestic level, the publication of the Ley Organica de Protección de Datos Personales is expected in Spain.